<laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. That's hairspray, you goon. <laughs> Get your life together. It is. Idiot. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. The greatest show on earth. Get up, baby. Oh, wow. What, do you have a baseball, too? I look like fucking Alex Rodriguez, huh? <laughs> dude, who are you, Neymar, dude? You get a baseball? Yeah, Doug. Bro, happy Thanksgiving, man. Dude, happy Thanksgiving, bro. I'm huh? glad you dressed up as... Keep stuffing me, bro. I mean, touch me. <laughs> I mean, don't touch me. Look like Abe Lincoln. I'm glad you dressed up, bro. I oh, like thanks, the Abe Lincoln man. thing, dude. Nice, bro. And you have that uh, beautiful, is that a partridge? What is that? This would be a turkey. Gobble, gobble. It looks like a real thick pigeon. <laughs> it might be a thick pigeon. I like pigeons. Yeah, you'd have I'd rather eat pigeons than a turkey. Turkey, dry ass bird, bro. Since when did tur wait? It's two thousand. Look at me. Take me serious. It's two thousand and nineteen. Why are we still eating fucking dry old chalk bird, bro? Let's mix it up, dude. Agree, bro, bro y'all gotta dampen that bird. These I want birds. I want birds. My in inject these batches with water, something. Dude, I want my bird like my gushers. I want them juicy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want them bitches thick. Damn thick birds, bro. Uh 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 uh. Oh damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, I want that shit juicy though. They're just not. A juicy bird. They're boring. They also look mean as shit. And they they be they hoeing them. too. Can you look up how often do turkeys uh conjugate? Can you look that up? <laughs> Did you ever seen them turkeys? They got the male ones have them the the scrotum. They mm -hmm. have their nuts hanging That's from their throat beak. It's that yeah, throatum, bro. bro. And I just told, told my joke twice, and I wish I wouldn't have done that. I hate it. I know. I heard you the first time, dude. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, man. Dude, happy Thanksgiving, bro. Happy Thanksgiving, man. It's a day of giving. It is, man. It's a day of thanks. I want to say thanks, man. Thanks for um. You know, thanks for always showing up every week and keeping a good attitude, bro. I don't always do that, so I'm thankful that you do that. Yeah, man. Thank you for just being you, dude. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to wear a turkey hat and be a dumbass. Well, it sounds a little vague, I think, after the one I said, but... Um, you think? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I think it was nice of you to say that. Dude, I'll give you some turkey. Uh -uh. You were at my house last year for Thanksgiving. That's true, huh? That Mexican fiesta. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Unbelievable, bro. Going with him to his his family all comes in, and they're all Mexican, dude. It sounds like the most racist experience, bro, when he's there. <laughs> it's, it gets weird, yeah, doesn't it? Dude, yeah. I'm the only guy that doesn't speak Spanish. Even you speak more Spanish than me. I know. The whole family was talking in Spanish. <laughs> I'm like, bro, learn a couple of palabras, papa. <clears throat> Uh, happy Thanksgiving, Derek. What do you got? What are you Ooh. thankful for, man? Oh, bro, thankful for being able to go home with my family. I'm going back to Memphis. Oh, wow. You're just thankful for planes or what? No, I, I like them. I like being around my family. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I never see them, you know. Last time you we saw them was when we were in uh, Nashville. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Derek's dad looks identical to him, but white. Yeah, I saw them. They came to one of our shows. They came oh, to one of the know, shows. Yeah, Beautiful, they, yeah. Same voice, everything. Be, yeah, very interesting. Very crazy. Are yeah. you a thug, bro? He was thugging a little. A little bit. You had a little thugging. bit of thugging him, huh? A little huh? bit, dog. I could see it. But did he, did he grow up? Uh, yep, all around black. Uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Gang, in bro. The hood, real poor. Gang, bro. He just knew poor white He's the only white, white boy in the neighborhood. Well, other than the other poor whites. He was around a lot of poor whites, but he, you know, he played sports, so. That's how he fit mm -hmm. in. Word, mm -hmm. bro. Welcome to my life, papa. Gang, bro. And Kat, what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? What's your Do you guys celebrate yeah, Thanksgiving? What's happening Kat? Is, that, yeah. is that your thing? Of course we celebrate Thanksgiving. We're American, God yeah, damn it. Yeah, damn it, Brendan. You're right. I don't know if it's a big <laughs> deal in your culture. <laughs> you know, because like Asians, it's more of a, you know. Yep. Oh, and it's good. Just a screeching That's hall. all right. Yeah, it's all right. How about pilgrims? <laughs> but dude? No. Shout out to pilgrims. Shout out to pilgrims. Shout out to Native Americans. Shout out to Indians. Shout out to Shout out to everyone. I just I'm thankful for everyone. <clears throat> yeah, man. I'm thankful. I think we all have a lot to be thankful for. And thankful for everybody. It's really we get to say thanks. Yeah. Because there's guys where I was like, oh, that's gay. Well, it's not, dude. Yeah, a lot of guys, instead of saying thanks, they'll fart on their buddy. <laughs> or they'll flick them in the nuts. It's like, dude, I don't like that. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So it's rare to say thanks to someone, man. And we were part of something where we got to say thank you. Oh, yeah. We Talking uh, about that Samuel Adams hitter. That Sam Adams hitter, dude. They have a Toast Someone campaign. And you might have seen Brennan probably posted his on TFATK. So uh, this is one that, this was my uh, toast to everyone. And I don't drink, but um, this campaign is awesome. And so this I want is, you guys to check it out. This is why I love yours, Theo. Is like you have to toast someone, uh, you know, with a beer, which is an alcoholic beverage, but you're sober. 
And it takes real gangster to be to be a comedian and stay sober when I mean I'm an alcoholic, raging alcoholic now. <laughs> but I, I didn't drink before I became a comedian. Wow. I drink double it's whiskey before every set. Yeah. So but here, here's what's gangster and the discipline you have, not to even entertain it, is really gangster, dude. So I'm proud of you, man. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Man. It's really courageous. I, and I listen, I it sucks I, sometimes. I, I want that beer. <clears throat> I bet you do. That shit is tasty. And, God, and I want ice that cold bitch. on a summer day, bro. But the thing about that, you know, I, I know some uh, people who struggle with it, and I think you're an uh, inspiration to them. Thanks, Cause a lot man. of them don't go out and they're like, no, I don't want to be tempted. But I'm telling you, man, be like Theo, be around it and have the willpower not to entertain it. It's you, really gangster, dude. Thanks, bro. I didn't mean you get all serious with a stupid turkey on my head, but <laughs> let's play the ad. Oh, I'm never taking you serious. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks, bro. Uh, yeah, this campaign was awesome, man. Let's play. Yeah, let's play this. I want. Let's play it. Being Theo Vaughn, it's kind of wild right now. Life's gotten pretty crazy, and it just kind of blows my mind sometimes. I have an opportunity to toast anyone that I want. I'm gonna toast the audience that comes to my shows. This next guy, he's one of my favorite people in the whole world to watch. You're Jeffrey very, very lucky to see him. Make a laugh for Theo Vaughn! I don't drink alcohol, but I wanted to be part of this campaign because toasting is such a simple act of kindness. Letting somebody know that you recognize them, letting somebody know that they mean something to you. Thank you, dude. A lot of recognition these days is liking something or sharing something. It's just so fleeting, the value of that. Put on the brakes, let somebody know they mean something to you. I realized the other day, I look like somebody who knows where the rabies at. <laughs> Sam Adams is the perfect beer for a toast because it has a traditional vibe to it. I'm trying to think about reincarnation, bro. You know, because I'm planning on doing it again, you know? <laughs> so often I feel like we get advertised one thing but delivered something else. People deserve to get something for their money. You know, I see a couple sitting there, maybe they hired a babysitter and this is their one night of the month that they go out and do something fun. A mother and son that'll come out to the show or a pair of brothers. I want to make a toast actually to you guys. You guys always continue to come back and allow me to really follow my dream, you know, like this is my dream. For years I would get to the venue and there wouldn't be anybody there. That's why it's important to me to put on the best show. You know, I couldn't live my dream if I wanted an audience. So I want to toast you guys, the audience, for always being there for me and meeting me in every city that I go to. Anybody can be toasted. It's something we need more of, telling each other, hey, I see you and thank you. If your next beer is a Sam Adams tonight, it's on me, everybody in the house. And, uh, and thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Cheers. How great is that, man? How That's cool is good. that? Pretty cool. Your boys, your, the boys are with Sam Adams. Gang, Thanks, gang, buzz, man. buzz, bro. Come on, gang, Get gang. big, bro. Toast someone. It's pretty cool, huh? Toast them, man. It gets toasty out there. Toast your bro, man. Yeah. That was cool. Thanks, bro. That was really cool, man. Yeah, yours is really great, too, man. <clears throat> it's all right. <laughs> no, it's awesome, dude. That's yeah, all right. You know, it's it was cool a, to be associated with Sam Adams, though. Yeah, and it was a neat group, too. It was just a neat group of people that got to do it. I yeah, thought it was, it was pretty cool. cool. The guy who shot it, uh, Kevin, yeah. God, he's a smart dude, man. Yeah, they did a good job. Yeah, it was really cool. They did a really good job, man. Uh, Ari Manis was in there, Jeff yeah, Burner. Jeff you Burner. saw those guys? Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, was so it's cool fun. you got to do it at the comedy store, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm a lot of people, you don't know, it's the comedy store. They really don't play those games where they let you shoot and cameras around. Like, uh -uh. it's the toughest place in the world to shoot something. Yeah, it's like shooting Fort Knox, dude. Yeah. It's like try, I'm trying to. It's trying to shoot JFK, bro. It's tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you need yeah. some help. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need some help. <laughs> but yeah, man, it was, was pretty cool. cool. Man. Thanks, like bro. Like I said, I. I, I, I I saw yours before we played the I haven't seen the finished product here, but man, I, I think it's pretty badass, man, that you're sober and you're able to be in these comedy clubs around alcohol and your your buddy here's an alcoholic. I think it's pretty inspiring. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I think this is more about you trying to tell us something, man. Yeah, oh, I need really help, pressure, man. Bro. Well, dude, just because I don't drink, it's like, yeah, but a lot of the audience drinks. A lot we of them do fun. Dude, my favorite drink is cocaine, man. So <laughs> that's why I don't drink. I don't have a problem drinking. I have a, but if I drink, dude, there's a really good chance I'm buy cocaine, so I just can't risk it. Goes it goes down to a bad road. And with that nose, you're snorting all the coke. So. <laughs> 
Sorry, that was just a sound my nose made, bro. Because yeah. a, a breeze went by. <laughs> no Twilight, shit, Twilight dude. zone in that motherfucker, Bro, dude. I'll kill half a, grand, half a gram of fucking turmeric from fucking 60 yards away, son. Fuck dude, yeah. I'll fucking... Bro, I'll put a spice rack on its knees, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be warmer tomorrow. I'll be telling you shit, boy. I got these crystal dude. balls up in here, dude. <laughs> You enough coke, you look like freaking Ren and Stimpy, bro. <laughs> Ren and Pimpy, bro. You and me, dude. I keep drinking. You keep snorting. Oh, man. We're going to end up in prison, probably. No, or it could be awesome. Well, we're easily going to end up with probably some charges or something for the, some well, of the I'll tell you this. No said. one ever did something creative without cocaine or caffeine. You feel me? No, I don't feel that, actually. Yeah, I don't feel that either. That's not the message we're trying to give out here. Be thankful. <laughs> and hopefully by us doing this, you can find one of your bros and and give them a little cheer and thankful, man. Amen. Yeah, toast somebody you care about. You Who know, would it you is toast, important. Derek? Ooh, uh, probably my boy Brian Simpson. One of my, just my boy, man. Uh, comic comedian. Yeah, he's he just funny. Did, yeah, he just did your mom's house and yeah, like he's that. really we started funny. together. The funniest man. What would you toast him for? Oh, just being just the best like friend and just for being a yeah, just being a comedy friend, just going through all this, just grinding together, just right. coming up together, and well, just we'll see if it happens. Staying boys, well, we'll you know? see. We'll well, see. Yeah, he might die. He has horrible sleep apnea. That's not going to make. Is he really? It. Oh yeah, he can't breathe when he sleeps. Well, but. you don't need Sam Adams to do that. Okay, you don't need a fat paycheck and Sam Adams to do that. Just <laughs> yeah. do it. Dude, right? <laughs> That's the message. Cat, who would you toast? Uh, I'd probably toast my dad. Mm, nice. Mm. Does he uh, drink beer? Oh my God! Like a Papa alcohol. cat can drink, huh? Really? Papa cat can drink. Does he have a beer belly? No, surprisingly. He's shred city. He he's not shred city. Uh, he dad but bod? he should have yeah dad bod Hell standard yeah. dad bod, but he probably should <clears throat> have a gut. My grandpa has a gut, and it's hard as rock. Amen. I think that's what my dad is going to get. Power that's a disease. That's yeah, a it's disease. A power, power gut. gut. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it is a disease called rock gut. It's called, hey. no, arteriosclerosis, Brendan. Well, it's believe. called rock gut in the streets. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why would you toast your dad, though? Oh, that man dead? is a badass. Is he? Yeah. How so? Uh, his life story is crazy. My well, dad give us a little fucking through. flavor, cat. Well, my dad uh, escaped Vietnam, lived in a refugee camp for a year. He would... Then he came to America. He somehow hooked up with this chick from Mexico who Hell came yeah. at a fr to a house party from Mexico visiting family members. Mm -hmm. He somehow wooed her. He didn't speak English. She didn't speak mm. English. They got together. He ended up moving to Mexico for a year to be with her. Do you have kids with her? Uh, we think he might, but mm -hmm. we're not quite sure. I'm yeah, pretty hey, sure I have hey. like an older older brother somewhere. <laughs> Cat. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. I don't know. I wonder if your older brother watches the show or not. What if oh, he has if he no does, idea? No, what What's if your good? brothers and sisters watch the show? You feel <laughs> so me? So then your father had a then your father what came up here? How'd he meet your mom then? Uh family friends. And it's really weird. He's like 15, 16 years older than her. <coughs> he was a bit of a cradle robber. Mm. Your dad has some game, huh? He's got some game. So I love that. It's beautiful. But yeah, badass dude. Hmm. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just toasted the audience. A lot of those people come out and have a great time. And it's, you know, it's just crazy to have an audience. I mean, it's so hard to get an audience in this business or to get people to, it's so hard. I, I mean, it's, yeah, it's tough it's to been keep like 16, them. 17 keep years. Too. Yeah. Yeah. I always forget. I, I said this the other day when we're at the comedy store. You walked away and I said something about uh, just comedy in general. Someone was like, dude, Theo's been doing it for 15 years. I always feel like, I don't, I don't know why. I, I don't know. I feel like we just been doing it the same. Yeah, you know. Yeah, man. I mean, I was on the tour. I was. I, I've been touring for probably almost sixteen years now. So yeah, I think that's why this past year I just got. I just this is one of the toughest years ever. It's been great, but it's also tough. It was just a lot. It was just like, man, I just hit this spot time where I was just so tired. I was just exhausted, almost overwhelmed. <clears> right, <throat> and the stimulus. It's a lot. Just overwhelmed a lot. And I think it's tough for people to understand. I get it, and you and I talk about this all the time. I think people think because you're Theo Vaughn, you have this, you know, you're touring all the time, sold out crowds, and your pocket's going well. They think, oh, dude, you have money. It's good. It's like, it's not about any of that, man. It's yeah. just, it's not, that doesn't equal happiness. Yeah, I don't have anything different. I got a Jeep Grand Cherokee now that I got a, you know, paying five fifty a month on, but... That's about it, man. A nice thing. I bought these hair plugs. That fucking <laughs> fresh fucking baby drape I'm growing. Yeah, that shit does look fresh. But uh, they haven't grown in yet. But um, thank you. Sorry. 
But anyhow, man, I'm thankful for this show, dude. And I'm excited to. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah, we're gonna do a show refresh. People should know that we have some big announcements. Some, some changes come up with King and Sting. All yep. for the better, man. We're gonna do a refresh and just kind of just do some new, just some new segments, um, and just kind of just make it, just kind of renew it. Let's freshen it up. Always getting better, man. Yeah, always getting better, dude. Let's kick AGB, this gobble, bro. gobble bitch up, man. Gobble, gobble. Gang, gang, bro. Time to pay the bills. Oh, I'm so excited. Black Friday is here, and so is Movement Watch. It's <laughs> the biggest sale of the year, bro. Dude, MVMT is the biggest sale of the year. Now, you want to put that arm piece on somebody. Shishing. You want to give them that wrist clock. You know, Shishing. You want to give them that capability. Shishing. Everything on MVMT.com is on sale. Mm. That's hundreds. Hundreds of premium watches, blue light glasses, sunnies, jewelry styles with a fresh new discount just mm. in time for the holidays. Mm, he discount. Mm, discount your life, bro. Look, Movement watches are an affordable option for everybody. Yep. You got something special for your arm. You could put it on your wrist or something if you want to do it anywhere. Mama, mm -hmm. your lesbian friend. You're gay for whatever, bro. Sibling, Everybody likes truck this stuff. driver. It doesn't matter, dude. Somebody with leprosy, whatever. Somebody that have no arms and just has like a pretend arm that they keep and they carry. You Put know, it on between that between their legs. Yeah, thick ass bulldog. See if it fits on him. Whatever you want, you can try right now because it's their biggest sale of the year. Shop it right now at Movement.com. Use the code mm. Holiday19 at checkout. Get free shipping, free returns by going to MVMT.com. Holiday, holiday, celebrate. So shop the biggest sale of the year right now, MVMT, and use code HOLIDAY19 at checkout. Get free shipping and free return. Go to MVMT.com, code <coughs> HOLIDAY19 at checkout. Join the movement. Knock, knock. Who's there? An advertisement. Dude, these suits were made for walking. And that's just what they do. And one day I want that tailor-made suit wrapped all over you. Okay. Talking about Indochino, bro. It's the world's largest made-to-measure menswear brand. Oh. They make suits, shirts, coats, oh. and so much more. Everything is made to your exact measurements so you don't look like you're wearing your dad's suits anymore man Ooh, da -da. no pape they have oh. hundreds of suit options for all occasions work maybe we're going to the oscars Worky. whatever you're doing they got you covered the best part is worky it's not crazy man everything costs da -da. under four hundred dollars choose your fabric Dun, 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 your package dun, dun. will be delivered straight to your door in two weeks. Bum, 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 bum. You can get measured and design your suit at your oh. nearest Indochino showroom or do it all oh. yourself online at Indochino.com. And guess what? It's getting even blacker this Friday. Gang, bro. Black up, bro. Black up. November down. The Black Friday event is down. The Black <laughs> Friday, man. The Black Friday event the is The Blackest Friday, on. bro. Now, we getting black-tastic. Until December 1st, get custom suit for just $289, $289. Wow. Plus, their best prices of the year on overcoats, shirts, and more. Hit them with more deal, yeah, boy. Yeah, start your style grade right now with $30 off your total oh. purchase of $399 or more oh. at Indochino.com when you enter the code CATS at checkout. Plus, shipping's always free. Free, free, free. That's, That's Indochino.com. Indochino Promo, Promo code, code CATS. For $30 off your total purchase of $399. Or more. You it's time to take care of yourself. You really have no excuse anywhere to wear clothing that don't fit. Yeah, what are you wearing? Do the laundry basket? Get your life together. Indochino. Trying to keep the lights on. All right, let's do yeah. something, huh? Let's start with a little new segment, boys. The who's more likely. How about that, huh? All right. Ooh, all yeah. right. I like this. Up first, we got Ty from Michigan. <clears throat> this is Big Ty. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Gang, bro. I don't know if you guys recognize me, but I was the dude who uh, had the knee surgery a couple episodes ago. With the neck brace? You see me now, man. I'm on that mill, baby, that treadmill. I'm back in action, but Gang. hey. Gang. That's him? Who's more likely to die Different first guy. in a horror movie, Theo or Brendan? Gang, gang. Congrats Ooh. on the steps, man. Congrats yeah, on the steps, bro. One step at a time. Yup. Take 12 of them, dude, and then... Uh, analyze your life. Yeah, and analyze your life, dude. And I don't know what happened to him. But I'm trying to remember. Do you... 
He was a while ago. I don't remember either, but I do remember someone sending in something when they got their knee. He lost like, his knee leg? surgery. You know, he had to get knee surgery. No, he had two legs in the video. Yeah. Did he? Mm -hmm. He did. But Unless one of them was like a how, like a prosthetic Halloween leg or yeah, whatever. Like a Halloween tell these prosthetic, yeah. yeah. Good luck, man. One foot in front of the other, you know? Yeah, gang on that mill, son. Um, die in a horror movie. <sighs> Who's more like, let's go to you guys. You guys are better. Yeah, you guys tell us first. Yeah, we have no clue what we're like. Theo, oh, wow, me? You, Why? You, you black, bro. You a black dude. Dang, You're bro. You're closer to being a black dude than Close my thing boy. To and you Besides the waist down. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, dude. They're going to send me in to do something. Huh? Yeah, oh, they go, go look for go something look for, for something. us. Yeah. You're like, all right, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, all right, we're going to break up. Theo, you go that way. The rest of us go this way. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gang. <laughs> gang, gang. Dead. All right, yeah, gang shit, bro. Yeah, gang shit. Good luck. <laughs> Damn, bro. They fucking be killing black dudes even in fucking horror movies, man. That's so fucked up when you think about it, dude. Black dudes and Asian dudes. Oh, bro, yeah. go on. But you, the Asian dude, you think you would keep around, but he's going to try to befriend the fucking creature and shit. I feel like they get a little wild when it comes to creatures. Yeah, that's fair. You know? That's fair. Cat, who do you think would die first? Mm, I feel like you would die first only because you would probably wander off somewhere and mm -hmm. then run into the killer. Mm -hmm. Accidentally. A secret meeting. Yeah. A secret meeting. Like you were trying to find something obscure and you found death and stuff. <laughs> I've seen too many horror movies, man. You know what I'm saying? I've seen what? way too many. <laughs> I've seen way too many. I ain't dying first. Come on, bro. Bro, Wreck It Ralph don't count as a horror movie. Okay. Uh, have you seen Wreck It Ralph 2 <laughs> okay. where they're locked in Wi Fi? Pretty scary, bro. <laughs> Up is pretty scary when the oh, grandmother dude. dies and they repossess her house with the balloons. God, the <laughs> that movie is dark. Is so Have you seen Coraline? Jesus, huh? Oh, Have you seen Coraline? Coraline? That movie's dark. super dark. Is it? Dude, Little Mermaid? Oh. Dark. Dude. Well, fuck, dude. I'm fine. I die. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. But I'm coming that. back as a ghost, dude. And I'll be in the sequel, too. And you're going to haunt me? Huh? You're going to haunt me? No. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just gonna, ooh. <laughs> Just gonna Ooh, no, don't. I'm just going to cause trouble, dude. I'm not going to hump you. Just going to cause... What do you think? I'm the ghost of Darren Sharper, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to do regular behaviors, man. The ghost of Darren Sharper is called Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I All die. Right. I admit it. What did people say? Do we people know? 63%. Went with Big Brown. Damn. I think you're dying, bro. Weird. I wonder why. I don't know. I thought it was you at first because I didn't. audience is dumb. I didn't want to lose. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to lose because that's how I was like, oh, it's Brendan. You know, he goes out there. But maybe that maybe that's why they thought I'd be in hell first because I'm going to die first. Ah. Uh, maybe they're one step ahead of us, but two steps back in life. What if they predict our futures, dude? <sighs> They'd finally get something Look right. into it. What else you got? We got Richard Leal up next. Oh, Dickie Leal. What's up, Theo? What's up, Brennan? Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. What's up, Rich? Uh, you hit us with that new hitter last week, which is who is more likely. Mm hmm And uh, Netflix and chill's a thing of the past. So we got a new one. And Derek, this doesn't go for you. Who's more likely to hit that Disney Plus and bus? Dang. Let me know. Who's more likely to hit Disney Plus and bus? Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Well, I got a kid. I got another one coming this, you know, coming up too. So I got one kid and a newborn. So I need Disney Plus. You as a grown man alone <laughs> yeah. with your thoughts, you shouldn't have Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it. If you do, you're catching that fucking Chris Hansen. Yeah. Why don't you take a seat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we see you sent your login info for Disney Plus. <laughs> And you got a full set of Smirnoff ice <laughs> yeah, yeah. and condoms. You want to explain something to us, Theo? Yeah, you have a full two pack of Sam Adams with the lid with the lid still on. Saying I want to, say, say I want to cheers you. Yeah. <laughs> something you want to explain to us? Uh, yeah, I think that's an easy one, man. Disney Plus and Bust is you, man. Has to be. Bro. But you got to get neutered. Are you getting neutered or not? Nah, never, Ooh. dude. I'll have ten kids, bro. That's what I'm saying. One bro. of them's gonna make it out. And Derek, you got to have a something to live. Something should live out of whatever you've been making all the time. Yeah, I can't believe I can't believe your girl doesn't have. It's crazy a kid. when I'm pregnant, bro. You might want to get checked out for your swimmers, bro. Why you gotta put it on? The, don't put that out there. That's yeah. You saying black people can't swim, dude? Yeah, bro. What you trying to say? You trying to say I'm not saying this? You're fucked up, man. Aquatic. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, man. God. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. 
Yeah, that is a double oxy, isn't it? Can't swim. Double entendre, I believe. Oh, man. That's all right, man. I think you're fucking brave, bro. I can't even imagine just traveling out into a world every day with different words and shit and having a limited arsenal. Fucking think it's brave as fuck. You're like the Katniss of the fucking vocabulary. A what? You're, fuck, you're like Katniss Everdeen from Game of Thrones or whatever. <laughs> Hunger, Games. Hunter, Hunger Games. I haven't seen Hunger Games. You show up every day and fucking battle to the end. Hell yeah, dude. It's fucking... Hell yeah. It's impressive, man. I'll take it. What else we got? 58% Brendan. A lot of people voted for you on that one. <clears throat> what was the thing about it? They wanted you to Disney Plus and bust. Oh, dude, that is, that, yeah, that does not end well. That ends with me in prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with it? If you don't have kids, I don't even like to have Disney yeah, Plus. Know. There's nothing but on dude, it for is you. There, like grown men freaking out. Is there a chance to even bust if you're watching Disney Plus? Like, I don't know if you do, you, do you do sex to a cartoon? Yeah, you can. Like, if you got, she got this dimey dime off Instagram, she's like, oh, let's watch Moana. It seems pretty harmless. Well, Mo- Moana drags out. It does? That's where you get your dick out. Oh, wow. <laughs> That extended time, yeah. You're welcome. Bro. That's that. This guy's seen it a lot. That's that. Yeah, I guess towards the end of the game, you got to pull your dick out, I guess, at the you end You got to make a it. move. Shoot or shoot. Some movies, I think, were basically boring. They should just make a movie for guys that's like, hey, this movie's so boring. At this, this point, on. you're going to be able to pull your dick out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's going to be so over the movie. Pull it out here. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. And at one and point. after just look at the screen and goes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the last, towards the end, though, the actor's just <laughs> winking over at it's you. George Clooney gone. <laughs> you're welcome. Half the movie's just in, in a hypnotist's office. <laughs> so by the end, you're like, wow. She's just so bored. Yeah. She'd rather see your wiener. <laughs> 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 what a great idea, dude. Yeah. It's Paramount, a, don't don't steal our shit, bro. Yeah, Paramount, boy. <laughs> what else we got, Doug? We got Debate Club, boys. Up uh, first, this is... Jimmy and Brendan from Deep River, Connecticut. His name's Brendan? Ooh, DRC, huh? Jimmy and B. Hey, King and the Sting, it's Jimmy and Brendan from Deep River, Connecticut. We got a debate club for you. What do you think? You like those Freddy Cruisers? Inclusive resort right here. <laughs> Freddy Cruisers? <laughs> They're in Maui. Gang, buzz, buzz. They're in Maui, man. I've been to that resort. Ooh, they were actually in Cabo San Lucas. It's all right, though. All oceans look the same to you. Good call. <laughs> well, they should be a Maui man if they had any cool ideas. <laughs> <laughs> cruises are all listen. I don't like cruises, bro. I don't like cruises. I don't mean I don't like being trapped on a boat. This day and age is just where people are killing their wives, throwing mm. them off the boats. So listen, I'm not into that dark fucking cruise ship art. You know what I'm saying? Inclusive resorts. I don't really like either. Anything inclusive, all you can eat can suck my dick. Like all you can eat, sh- uh, all you can eat sushi. It oh. ain't good food, man. Or a buffet just open 24 mm-hmm. seven. You think that food's fresh? Get both of these out of my fucking grill, dude. Dude, look, cruise is hard to paint right there. I apologize. That's all right. <laughs> cruise is just a place to really douse your spouse with that chloroform. A lot of people, and that's even the old thing. The new thing is making sinkholes and shit and hiding your wife in them. But before that, it was cruises. Two years ago, everybody's, you know, oh, honey, I love you again. And then all of a sudden, you're getting the money from the company. Yeah, Carnival was even doing some promotion. To- yeah. Kill your girl. Yeah, it's bring weird. three. Yeah, bring two people. Leave with one, and you get a discount. Yeah, two for one. It's like that makes sense. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna say all inclusive. You're kind of stuck in a place. <clears throat> cruise. At least you get to be out on the ocean. I like. Did you wicked- go to college on a cruise? Didn't you get yeah. a degree at sea? Yeah, I, I went on a college on a cruise boat for one semester, and it was great, man. She went from port to port. Yep. Like a sailor, bro. It was, bro. And, dude, it would be crazy. You'd go party sometimes with some of the uh, people that worked on the ship. Like the, you know, like the cooks and everybody. Rags. Oh, they were totally like pirates. Yeah. They're like, but I'm girl f- pirates. Bus, man, I'm fucking in this port, man. I'm fucking. What, what, what's a girl pirate's name? Pirate. Oh, they were all from like uh, Croatia or something. The women, ooh, they were really tough. Ooh, tough. A couple of tough women tough on to there. Pin down. A lot of Filipinos, too, in the ship that work on different cruise Did ships. Did you go and port stuff. to port and. Uh, no, bro. I had some probably severe nervous condition. That's how a lot of diseases spread. You know that? A lot of diseases. From sailors. Port to port, dude. Yep. Yeah, man. We didn't do, we had a girl that lost a a tooth and got knocked up by a mariachi player in 
um, I want to say Malaysia and maybe even in Vietnam. Pretty cool. He's a mariachi player in Vietnam. So wild, huh? How do you even meet that person? And she'd lock, and knock your teeth out of a water slide. And then he was like, yo, let yeah. me fix your tooth. Pregnant. Yeah, let me fix your tooth with this baby. I'll put a whole nother set of teeth in your body. <laughs> that wow. might be my long lost brother. <laughs> <laughs> that might that be. That mariachi player be might have been Cat's dad. Yeah. <laughs> so king it, bro. Toast of Cat's dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 88% all inclusive. That's what everybody went with. Yeah, cruises mm. are weird these yeah. days. And that one cr like was flipping over. I saw that video. Oh. Oof. Yeah, all inclusive. You can take some day trips. It's a little bit more relaxing. I think I like being nestled by that boat, though. I'm going to go cruise, actually. I'm going with neither. Support the podcast. Here's an ad. Dude, it's the holidays and you want to make money. <laughs> it's the holidays. You want to make money, bro. So guess what? I man? don't want to work, though, man. Yeah, you don't have to. You know sports. You know fighting. Listen, you got NBA. You got NFL. You got UFC. And you want to make some money? It's a no-brainer. Use my bookie. And my bookie is offering a risk-free bet on the Bears-Lions game. Simply choose a team against the spread for up to $250. If you win, congrats. You've got extra holiday money. If you lose, congrats. You're good. No sweat off your back. My bookie will give you all your money back. It's a no-brainer because you can literally, literally cannot lose it's no risk it's all gravy this thanksgiving all right just log on to mybookie.ag make your first deposit with the promo code cats yeah and my bookie will match your deposit dollar for dollar to jump start your heart and your bankroll 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 and that's on top of the risk-free bet risk-free betting what are we doing you play you win you get paid get that dollar boy let me repeat that's guaranteed deposit match program so they, you put up the money, they put up the money. They meeting you 50-50 right in the middle, boy. Balls in the wall. You know what I'm saying? The balls in the wall, daddy. You play, you win, you get paid. Yeah, get paid, man. What you going to do? Sit around watching your great-grandfather <laughs> freaking drool that free gravy he's sucking on? Yeah, quit shoving pumpkin pie in your damn mouth and go to mybookie.ag <laughs> and make your first deposit with the promo code CATS. Yeah, back off the cranberry sauce. You know you got sugar issues, boy. You know what I'm saying? Tighten up and gamble son time to buy Theo more pants now i will i want to say something that's important and and also semi-important i'm that, listening man <laughs> take me as serious as you can with this turkey on my head bro yeah. what you sell me right now abe i'm not selling you anything i'm telling you okay i'm not selling i'm telling i'm selling telling you that my sister is getting figs for christmas oh the fruit nope it's kind of a lame gift you ask me no, figs is also leg wear. You know, a lot of nurses, doctors, dentists. Are you talking about scrubs? Scrubs, yeah. Oh, wow. Like fancy scrubs, style Pe scrubs? People who work in medicine and even people who work at like uh, places where they grow weed and stuff or healthcare. Medical professions. Yes. Yeah. All of us can think of a time when a medical professional helped us. Well, this is a great chance to reward them with a beautiful gift. And I'm talking about figs. What yeah. does figs have, baby? Figs is an amazing company that is making scrubs stylish, finally, man. Because when I see my doc, I'm like, dude, you look terrible. Now, if they came in swag, I'm like, I feel way better. Figs also gives back, and you can too. Every time you shop at Figs, they give scrubs to a healthcare provider in need mm -hmm. around the world mm -hmm. through the Threads for Threads initiative. PG, baby, praise God. Speaking of giving, Figs makes a great gift for the life saving in your life you want to keep living give them figs man mm -hmm. yeah give them figs give them figs get ready to love your scrubs head to wearfigs.com that's w-e-a-r-f-i-g-s.com enter the code cats at checkout you get 15 percent off your first purchase by using the code cats get that's wearfigs.com give them figs everybody gets figs give them figs Figs down, scrubs up. Fig, figs. Someone's got to pay for Brennan's coffee habit. Up next, we got Big Zeb Stewart. This is Big Zeb. Everybody. Big Zeb. Theo, Brendan. Uh, my name is Zeb. It's my little brother Hudson. Just got out of wrestling practice uh, here in Lynchburg, Virginia. Mm. Uh, my brother just signed to wrestle at UVA on Ooh. Wednesday. <laughs> wow, wow. Congrats. Uh, super proud of him. Wow. Uh, I can't wait you know, uh, you know, for him to, to do well there. But uh, maybe think of a debate club for you guys. Which were your better years? Your high school years, or your college years? Let us know. Gang Green? Bursitis. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, young Congrats, man. Oh, yeah. UVA, he must be a smart kid and wrestles ass, bro. bro. Yeah. They got a good team, too. 
Bro, yeah, and I've said that, that's beautiful. That man can do all of that. Hell yeah. Um, it was high school or college. Mm-hmm. Better years. My yeah. best years are right now, son. <laughs> yeah, right now. Not even close. High school, you're trying to figure things out. I got injured my senior year. Dreams were shattered. <laughs> college, I had an afro. I got fucked over by my African-American coach because I was white. I don't know, dude. Dreams were shattered. <laughs> I kept on dreaming, though. You know what that's I'm saying? True. But dreams oh, no, were you shattered. Bought, yeah. But you've always been, you've always, you just re, you re, you redream, bro. You reshape the dream every time. Um, I think high school. Really? I don't feel, you were cool in high school? I wasn't cool, bro. I was so nervous, dude. Yeah. I so, used to flex my butt when I would walk sometimes. <laughs> that makes sense why I have a dumper. <laughs> right a dumper. I was so nervous, dude. I was, yeah, I don't know. I was, something was wrong with me. And then, uh, college, oh, college was really pretty rough. College at sea? That part was, uh, the first part was part of Some of it was good. Uh, everything was fucking good, bro. Nah, no, it wasn't, though, bro. Some of it's tough, man. Yeah, some of it was tough, but I think I always focus on the tough part. So the things that were good, dude, I used to get high and fucking go, go I would get high in people's cars in my neighborhood. I would sneak in and sit in the back of their car and get high. Just in college? And then in high school. And then one time I fell asleep in this lady's car and she fucking took me to work in the morning. <laughs> she didn't even know I was in the very back. <laughs> Just fucking passed out, dude. And she worked by the post office. So I got there and I was like, fuck, did I have to walk home two miles? And that's when I kind of quit smoking weed. I was like, I'm fucking, this shit's too athletic, bro. <laughs> I, uh, athletic. Yeah, I had a good childhood band, grew up playing sports, had friends, you know, which just, you know. Which one do you like better though, between high school and college? <sighs> I don't know. They were both good, man. I didn't have like, you know, I didn't have terrible times. Yeah. When I say terrible dream shadow, just sports, you know? Yeah, yeah just sports. I had great friends. Great friends, high school. Don't talk to him anymore. Great friends in college, yeah. you know? I'm going to go high school because I made, I had so many friends then, and it was just, I really, I did better when I was around more people. And once I got into college, I think I was just around less people. It just, you know, it's a little bit more yourself. You can isolate more. Yeah. And so once I once I got into that vein, man, I wasn't high as pretty, great. High school, I feel like it's really, uh, it's exciting because everyone, everyone, you know, yeah, no one's really a loser yet because they, you know, they, you know, they're trying to figure out so everybody thinks they're gonna make it. So you're all like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, and then like three of you make it. <laughs> but I mean, everybody but makes no one knows it, kind that. of. But I mean, everybody makes it. Everybody just makes it, de- it different. It depends what you define on making it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think? Oh, high let's school. hit the cult. Let's hit the culture corner. High school, huh? All day, dog. High school. Was Did the you? Shit. And you went to college? Did I went to college. Oh okay. mm-hmm. yeah. The high school. I mean, I, I just dropped out after two and a half years. Mm. But they want to stick it out, huh? For another yeah, I year. Started doing stand up, man. Gang, Got bro. That fucking, that's that real drug, bro. Stand up. Mm-hmm. You can't go to class when you're doing that shit. Oh. Couldn't wait a year and a half and get the degree, though. Couldn't huh? do it, bro. I, could, I mean, you, I tell, imagine waiting a year and a half to stop doing stand up after you started doing it. It's fucking yeah, hard, bro. Be tough. Yeah, what about online? Have you thought about finishing, man? They can never take it away from you, bro, once you get that degree. My, that's, you sound like my mom, dog. Uh, God, you deserve it. Woman. You should get it for yourself, man. Thanks, I just buddy. think that you should. You can still get it. Yeah, I'm also I don't, telling I don't myself know if you I deserve can. it, but you can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're just throwing around it. deserve. I mean, I, <laughs> he doesn't. He dropped out, bro. You got to earn that shit. Dude, get <laughs> off our land, buddy. <laughs> join Phoenix <laughs> online or some shit. Dude, I heard uh, even Harvard, I think, pretty easy to join these days online. Yeah, it really is. Nicki Minaj's part. Part of it, yeah. dude. Get bro, a degree from Harvard, to to, bro. <laughs> any school Nicki Minaj is fucking going to, but I, it's an ass class. I think that, yeah, man, you should get it. Get it slow. It take a little time, but you should get it. It took me about eleven years, man. Yeah, it took my mom that time. So it took her like nine years. She got one slow. Yeah, maybe nine You're years for smart, a bachelor's man. degree. Hmm? Uh, nine years for a bachelor's? for a bachelor's degree. Yeah, but then she went and got the master's and the doctorate like immediately after. Oh, word. Mm-hmm. Then You're your mom too got smart this. not to have it, bro. You deserve to have it. Just to have it. Just to have it. They can never. They can never take it away from you. You don't you know, deserve anything. It. I, I well, deserve it for weird you word to say. Why do you keep you gotta earn that shit, bro. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah that's true. Down. Yeah, you don't get it for free. This ain't the fucking deserve. Bernie. This ain't Bernie Sanders University. Yeah, you gotta go bro. get it. I think he deserves to end up with a heart attack like that old fuck. You know what I'm saying, dude? dude? Can you believe that one day, if it, they, if everything keeps just getting given to everybody, then it's just gonna be like, oh, then you, everybody at college should get a degree. That's gonna be a thing one day. Can you believe that? Crazy. Then everybody's man. gonna have a degree. It, then, yeah. Who's it's gonna done. care? Cat, but, you you got your bachelor's in four years, like a regular student, or were you uh, 15, 17 years like these guys? Um, I did community college for two years, transferred out, and took three years because USC was weird with their prerequisites. They made me take everything again. Why did you go to JUCO? You JUCO. had bad grades. Uh, no, ball, I just huh? didn't want to spend all the money on a university for the mm-hmm. first two years. If what I could JUCO? Take, huh? What JUCO? 
I ended up going to Evergreen Valley College in San Jose. Mm-hmm. Not familiar with it. Not a great school. Shout out yeah. Bark. Isn't the Bark? What's their tree name? What's their team uh, name? I don't even know. if They don't have a team, I think. I think it's just like a bunch of like 24 year old like Asian dudes like hey I did it like tattoos <clears throat> like I didn't just my mom the only right. thing I know about Juco's is from Last Chance You you feel me oh, gang, it bro. looks like a real shit show yeah <laughs> looks like prison but with football <laughs> also known as the movie The Longest <laughs> Yard <laughs> that Joey Diaz was in yeah oh. Longest Yard yeah yeah he was um all right, I think you should go back to college then, Derek. Is that the question? What's this guy asking? Oh, he was asking what you, what you guys like better. High school is a shit, bro. High school or college? High school because I think there's just... It's exciting, man. It, it's yeah. exciting, First time man. having sex if you're a normal kid, like 16, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You got yeah, a girl, dude. you're sneaking around yeah. for some trying drugs. A lot of old Staying dudes trying to t- molest you, molest you, start fucking looking over at you, bro. You know? <laughs> well, and you get to fend them off, though. It's like a... You're at least strong enough like, to defend them off. Yeah, it's like, like double Andy dragon. Dufresne. You ever play double dragon? Hell yeah. Yeah, gang shit. What else we got, Derek? <laughs> oh, man, we got uh, up next. This is Eric. This is big Eric Alas. Or With Alice. that debate club. Theo Vaughn. Brandon Schaub, love the show, boys. So I think I have the first triple topic debate club. I think it's decent. All right, hard-boiled eggs, sunny side up, or scrambled eggs. Mm. So I'm a fat boy at heart. I love me some sunny side up eggs, especially for breakfast. I would love to hear what you guys like. Please let me know. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Real egg fan, huh? Buzz, cuz. I love eggs, too. <laughs> Buzz up, dog. Uh, I like eggs. If I think hard enough about it, though, I don't want to eat them. But uh, I like them over medium. What is that? Over, over easy. So over easy is where they're real runny. It's a mess, dude. I like over medium where that yolk's a little firmer so it doesn't get all messy. Oh, mm. yeah. <laughs> okay. Dang, bro. I like a fried egg as well. Ooh, on a burger, bro? Come on. Not on a, bur- not a burger, bro. What? No, I don't mix my beef <laughs> and my bird, bro. Really? Yeah. No, I was on board with the fried egg, but then. <laughs> yeah, mixing beef and bird is wild. And Kat, you guys put the eggs right into the rice a lot of times, don't you? Yeah. Fried, fried rice. Oh, fried rice. Mm-hmm. I was so confused for a moment. Gang shit, bro. Yes. That's, everything was rice. <clears throat> and eggs, though. You guys are big egg, egg fans. Yeah, it's yeah. easy. It's, it's simple. easy. You guys also fuck with other eggs, like Baloo. Baloo. Yes, yes. With you ever tried Baloo? I've had a Baloo. chicken. Uh, very scary to eat, man, and I would never eat it again. Um, Did I you eat also, the bird? Huh? Did you eat the actual bird? or I had a bite. It? Ugh, I can't do that. I can throw up right now. You know what it is? I don't even know what it is. Educate yourself, bro. You deserve it. <laughs> Google it. Yeah, it's like a... Shit is disgusting. Uh, it's basically like a little birth. It's, no, like it's, get, it's basically an ostrich-sized fucking egg, and the bird basically just couldn't get out, and so oh. it boiled them. Jesus. Oh, makes me very scared oh. right now. Chin eats those every morning. That is gross. No, he doesn't. If he does, bro... He's Dexter, dude. He's dead to me, then. I'm going to have to give him some gum before I talk to him. Look at that. <laughs> uh, That's what people eat. It's oh. very... It's so disturbing. Visceral. Yeah. It's very much scientific. That's one of the reasons... Sometimes I don't like the uh, uh, overside ups because they got... It's like science. Sometimes you cut into that thing, it still seems a little runny, you know? It's like... If I think too hard about any of the, the egg stuff, yeah. I'm out, bro. That's why I like to go scram, but I like to mix it up. I don't want to think too much about it. Make it easy. And I used to drink them. I would drink them straight when I was back in the school and in college. Dude, we trying to get swole. Oh, Me bro. too. I did it Arnold style, bro. I used to drink them, bro. Eat half a stick Me of too, butter, bro. dude. I do egg whites, so I didn't fuck with that yolk. Oh, dude, yeah. I was making my son scrambled eggs with ham. I thought, what the fuck are we doing, dude? Mm-hmm. Killing this little bird, killing this pig, mm-hmm. mix them together. And then feet oh. hiding it in your son's body. Crazy, dude. That's insane, bro. It's like a fucking Anne Frank of meals, bro. God, bro. This has got to stop, man. What else we got? <laughs> we got 9% went with hard-boiled, 45% sunny side, 46% went with scrambled. Dude, here's the thing about hard-boiled. In my workout days when I want to get Shred City like Arnold, I used to eat a bunch of hard-boiled eggs. Those things <laughs> smell like a fart. Oh, yeah. Dude, you open those up, <laughs> fart. <laughs> Bro. Uh, fart. You know what I'm saying? They're disgusting. They're for senior citizens. They're ah, for people that don't know what's going the on. chalk yolk. Tourists who eat them. People that are going on, you know, people that are, you know, like traveling out of town to swim. People that do shit like that. Oh, I ain't dude, fucking doing like all fart. that. fart. <laughs> yeah, I guess, bro. If you're fucking sitting there huffing a sack of them, tone if you want to get down. high, bro, you can, dude. <laughs> tone it down on the friggin' huevos, papa. Yeah, yeah. 
What else we got, bro? We got some uh, relationship advice, boys. Jeepers. You guys need to help somebody. <laughs> <It's really? laughs> hey, Haven't we helped like enough people dude, so that they don't send these in anymore? <laughs> no, dude, they keep no, sending them. Oh, my God. Help. We get a lot of relationship advice. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm do. telling you, we helping folks, bro. <laughs> what? This one is from our girl, Melissa. Well, goddamn, girl. From Nashville. <laughs> Shit, I'll eat. Go ahead. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving, dude. I'm Yo, trying, I'm, Brendan. I'm, I need some relationship advice. Okay. I am 29. Young. I have sole custody of my seven-year-old son. Hell yeah. And in the past couple of years, I've dated. And um, the men that I've dated, they're like in their 30s. Um, they want to commit. They want to be responsible. They, at first, say they want all the things that I want. And mm-hmm. then when it comes down to it, um, they dip. Mm. And, you dating boys, honey? Um, it's become a pattern, and I'm sick of it. I've dated women in the past. I do enjoy women. However, there's something <laughs> <that I'm laughs> sexually with men. Uh, I guess it's the whole real penis thing. Mm-hmm. RP. Um, RPO. <laughs> what should I do? Should I seek older men in their 40s? Um, should I what are you doing, Brendan? date women? Should I not date anyone for a while? I mean, my son isn't 18 for 11 more years. I don't, you know, I want a companion. Okay. He wants a companion. Okay. She yeah. needs a companion. How much longer is it? <laughs> 20 seconds. Dude, she could talk all night long, put yeah, me right she, to sleep. Was right to but sleep I with think that we get it. She's boner. A, what? Sh- you can't. You Can you sleep with a boner, dude? Oh, yeah. I'll f- right away. Wow, that's crazy, man. Impressive, right? <laughs> Dude, this little fine mama hair, bro. Here's the thing. You dating boys, honey. If it's a... I didn't mean to call you honey. It, you're dating boys, though, <laughs> because if they were real men, they'd be down with the kid, all that stuff. Says, you're just dating the wrong dudes. Says the guy with the turkey on his head. I'm going to go... <laughs> it's Thanksgiving, bro, and I'm thankful for fine-ass moms like this doing Dude. the damn thing, Dude. Oh, my God, bro. Dude, just because you look sweet as Abe Lincoln, I'm wearing this stupid <laughs> cock hat, doesn't give you the right. I'm a smart boy. I'm fucking babe thinking, dog. These bitches yeah. know what's up, bro. Four scores and seven grams ago. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's good, bro. Keep touching me, bro. Damn, dude. Wow, Brendan fucking hitting hard at the end of the year. Let's go. Let's go. Here's what I'm saying, young lady, is you got that offspring, okay? You got that beautiful O spring. You already know your body can work. You can do magic with that ovary. So what I'm saying is this, get out there, take some time off and see what you really want. Make a little chart, see what you want. Because she knows, bro. She wants a man. She doesn't know she's asking she knows us. She wants a companion because she's saying she's dating these dudes. They sound like they want the same thing she does, a family and the whole whole enchilada, right? And then they dip out when it's finally like time to commit with her and the kid, they dip out. So she's like, dude, I'm dating these 30 year olds. Should I date older men, 40s? Yeah, she doesn't know. That's what I'm saying. She doesn't know. So she's asking us should if she, she should, should date, date older, older men dudes. or women or what should she do? Older women. I'm st- yeah. <laughs> I'm with Derek. Chime no, in here, Derek. Oh, no, dude. Yes, and you be no, quiet you and listen to why. No, turkey in your mouth. <laughs> Derek, you want sleepy meat? Go with older women. Come on, Talk bro. about it, you Derek. Want that Why? Tropopin. She needs a 45-year-old strong woman named Barbara mm-hmm. to take care of the kid. Nah, mm-hmm. no. Yeah, take care of her. That's that, what she needs. She needs that turkey. That barbarian, baby. That's what I'm saying. You're going to get it. Go to Barb. Nah, hell no. Get you a real 30-something-year-old who has his shit together, likes kids, has Disney Plus, and bust. <laughs> Look, there's nothing- They're out there, girl. What city is she in? Nashville. Nashville. Ooh, I love Nashville. Look, stay confident. I'll say that. There's nothing more attractive to any type of man than a real confident woman, and it makes you not want to just like- A woman like that that's a hard worker, that's confident, that has her own stuff going on, I think a man can see that he's not just going to put one over on that lady. Yeah, and also dudes out there fucking with this, uh, this milk. Don't don't waste her time, man. She has kids. And keep you, yeah, keep your crotch in your pocket too until something real happens. Yeah, It'll it's be- just gonna be Disney Plus. No bust, you little busters. Yeah. <laughs> so I would just stick to something real chill, but But you're girl, you're already checking all the box. You fine as fuck. You're a good mom. You tatted up, you got the nose piercing, set of lips, you speak well. Bisexual. <laughs> 
Oh, dude, I forgot about that. <laughs> no, no, These guys are Theo, disgusting. Theo, dude, what are you doing, bro? I'm trying to help this woman out, Brendan. Just saying. If you need a companion, dude. And you're over here trying to freaking be another problem for this lady, okay? You're showing up with a turkey on your head. I'm trying to take your her head. mind off her problems. <laughs> Boy, you got a, little, a turkey on your head, turkey. okay? <laughs> a little turkey, little gobble, 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 gravy, gravy, baby. You're trying to show up with that head bird and fucking rattle this lady's cage, bro. That's all you're trying yeah, to do, Yeah, bro, right? scramble them eggs, son. You got bird on your brain, son. Look, lady, you're going to be fine. Just keep dating, and one day you'll find a prince, yeah, right? Yeah, stay off that gravy, baby. Yeah, you know what you, they say? You got to eat a lot of frog to get a prince. <laughs> Preach, dog. All I right, feel like boys. we helped her, bro. Yeah, you guys got <laughs> What? She's an attractive mama. Yeah, she was. Damn. Uh, up next, guys, a little chide my ride real quick. A little chide my ride. I totally forgot about this. No segment. more boathouses either, man. If one more bastard <laughs> sending a damn boathouse. I boat agree, house. dude. I'm seeing these fucking car boats. Yeah, quit sailing your house around. Up first, this is Michelle Barge from Kalawana, Canada. Kalawana, Canada? Oh, Damn, that's hard. Zoom, zoom in on her for me for a second. Got it. <coughs> Let me see what she's working with. Brendan, it's about the ride, bro. I, well, I got to see the, the, the owner. Okay, clearly a snowboarder. Snowboard. She can snowboard right into this heart. Jesus Christ, what is happening? Yeah, man? Dude. Mm -hmm. Take that double black diamond straight to my veins, girl. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Michelle is a ER nurse. Hell and yeah. BJJ Blue Belt. Hmm. <laughs> What's the third J for? What's the yeah. second J for? Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Oh. Well, <laughs> disappointed. Um, that's awesome. She seems like a really attractive lady that's doing something positive. She's outdoors in this video, in this image. She's clearly a big Jurassic Park fan with the Jurassic Park logo on the car. Here's my question. Now, you had straight up dime piece, girl, but here's mm -hmm. my question. Uh, are you are you all there upstairs? And also, I'm gonna judge you based off what Jurassic Park did you paint this in? Is it the first ones, which I fucks with, mm -hmm. or is it the new ones where the guy who is in Gardens of the Galaxy is beating up the the Raptors? You feel me? Yeah, the new one. That one, that shit's weak. The new one's just Jumanji with some fucking edits, bro. Yeah, bro. Without <laughs> so, the, without the rock. Yeah, let's be <laughs> rational. And here's the thing: this car is a beautiful piece, and if you drive this and do a crime or do anything, the cops are gonna stop you. But you're in that Jurassic Park vehicle. Well, from what we can see, there's two spare tires on one side. That's the most <laughs> savage shit I've ever seen. That's a great. That's point. a car that says, "Fuck, we ain't gonna make it." So let's see what else is popping. <clears throat> here's the other thing: got the spoiler. Take that off. Probably not needed. And you got the the brawl in the front. When you got that paint, no one gives a fuck if you protect the paint. Go ahead and take the brawl off. Let the tits out the front, girl. Spoiler <laughs> alert, this thing's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> this thing should be extinct, bro, like the fucking dinosaurs. Move on. Bro, I'd put the spoiler right on the front, bro. That's what Hell I like yeah. to do, man. Why does anybody do spoiler on the front? Yeah, that's a terrible idea. I'd spoil her, though. Good Lord. She's a snowboarder, huh? Is that a <laughs> tattoo on her neck? Ooh, yes, sir, it is. Well, that's on her collarbone, but I think there's one on her neck, too. You right see there. that? Oh, you're going Sizzler. Mm -hmm. What does that right mean? Here. And she has a dinosaur shirt on? That's a little baby Velociraptor? Oh, that's a dinosaur pants. She's a nurse, man. Beautiful women. A lot of beautiful women nursing. Oh, nothing better than a nurse, man. Takes care of you. Mm -hmm. Obviously likes people. Caring. And if you die, she could be right there and put that sheet over you. Hell yeah. Or she'd give you CPR, son. Mm-hmm. I'd choke on a fucking animal cracker to see her you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not faking death to meet a woman. It's called the Sandlot, baby. It is? Oh, yeah. Respect, bro. I'll Forever. give you that one. Forever. What else you got? Up next, we got this is our boy, Enrique Shockwave. Oh, wow. He seems nice. Wow. That's a Ooh. Enrique now, I'm a looking, I'm a liking. Enrique is a bad boy, guys. He, 1980. This is 1980 El Mercedes. <gasps> he needed a truck, but he couldn't afford one. So I turned my Benz into an El Camino. Gang, bro. And you got to respect Latin culture right here, man. Yeah. And I'm just going to assume, I am assuming that Enrique is Latino. I think that's fair. Our boy's yeah. Mexican as shit. That Mercedes, <laughs> bro. This guy has a wood panel trunk, a wood panel rear of a truck, truck fabricated man. himself, a back of a truck that he fabricated himself, attached to a 1980, you said Mercedes? Yes, sir, 1980. LS, wow. Here's the thing, he cut the trunk off this Mercedes and then extended the back like a truck hitch. It's pretty sick. 
Yo, if you could, dude, ma- he's the Mexican Steve Jobs. Yeah, I'll give dude. this guy a job right now. Yeah, we need another asshole around here. You this is me? amazing, man. I've never seen anything like this. Me neither, dude. How does it Look stay at the on? paneling and look how perfect it is. Yeah, how's it not way down the fucking car? Yeah, what it's, can he put back there? Huh? Anything he wants, dude. Cantaloupes, watermelons. Melons, yeah. Why well, do you guys keep saying fruit because he's humans. Mexican? Humans. No, stacks of <laughs> humans. Speakers. You know what I mean? You can blow up to Home Depot. Ooh. Homies jumping in. Anle, anle. They fucking pile in that bitch. Speakers, chicharrones, camarones, tomates. Tamales. Yes. Queso. Niños. <laughs> hermanos. Um, um, we said cantaloupe. Yavis. Uh, bananas. Bananas. Banana. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't uh, know anymore right me now. Either salt, chili powder. Yeah, yili. Tabasco. It's not chili, it's yili. Yili powder. Yili powder. <laughs> Tabasco. Yili powder, yili though. Yili powder. <laughs> yili powder, bro. Yili. You look so bad with that turkey on your head. <laughs> <laughs> the feet keep swinging. <laughs> dude, that turkey looks good, dude. Yeah, does it look sick? I think so. Let me see the back Dude, of it. You look like Abe Lincoln. Oh yeah, the back looks dope. Is it sick? Yeah, it's like a, you look like a geisha girl. Kinda. You think that milf? <laughs> you think that milf is gonna see this and holler? Oh yeah, bro. If she's into lesbians, this would do it. Dude. You look like Butterball, man. Like or like butt or like butter balls. But yeah, you look tasty, bro. You look like something I'd put in that crisper drawer. You look like M- Melissa Etheridge right now. Oh, <laughs> Where's your guitar? <laughs> Dude, come to my window, bro. Come to my window. You know I'll be home soon. Does she also think, I drive a fast car. Nope. Dun, 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 That's the speed of light. Same yeah, shit. Same shit. Good, just <laughs> <laughs> white girl. <laughs> Trace Chapman's black. Trace Chapman's black. It's got awkward. <laughs> she's black? Yeah, she's I knew black I liked her dog. music. Yeah, that's why she sounds. She's uh-huh. black? Uh-huh. Yeah. Let me see. Tracy. How black? She looks pretty black to me from the cover of that album. Melissa Etheridge is so white. Mm-hmm. Melissa, yeah. Oh, she's Holy black. She Whoopi Goldberg, though. Oh, that's Whoopi. Yeah, that's Whoopi, <laughs> dog. Damn, she can sing. Oh yeah. What's she doing these days? She's so unique. Yeah, this thing. You drive a fast car. I drive fast yeah, and speed yeah. of light. You yeah, gonna get yeah. a ticket? She looks like Leslie Jones here. Sometimes you listen to that song, make you want to cry, dude. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're right, man. This episode, dude, aren't we? Huh? It's Thanksgiving, man. It's Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for Tracy Chapman. <laughs> I'm thankful for Tracy Chapman. I'm thankful for Steven Spielberg. I'm thankful for Steven Spielberg. I'm thankful for video games. I'm thankful that my eyes work. I'm thankful that they have outdoors and indoors. I'm thankful that... I'm thankful for uh, Asians who get bowls of rice and then eat outdoors like a barbecue, but they're eating bugs. Mm Mm-hmm. Chin. Mm. (laughs) Um, What else, man? I'm thankful for almost everything. I'm trying to be. What else we got, Derek? We got some king of the singer. Yeah, Yeah, thankful for our moms, thankful for our dads. No, no, I was thankful of that old, that mom. I'm still thinking about that mom who's also into chicks. Oh, yeah. Nice lady. (laughs) Seemed like a nice woman. I'm thankful for uh, nose piercings. They're sexy, dude. They are sexy, man. I feel like you could pull off a nose piercing. Really? I'd look like a bull. <laughs> you look like Melissa Etheridge. Dude, I would have to work in a field on all four of my legs if I got my nose pierced. Exactly. What else we got? <laughs> we got some king of this thing. Up first, this is Sean Donovan. Big Sean. Sean Don. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Brian. Uh, I got a king and her sting it for you. Tommy and Brian. Chain restaurants. Big fan of Applebee's, Chili's, those types of places. Just want to know what you guys thought. Also, Theo, you look like the live rendition of Stuart Little. And Brendan, you look like John Travolta in Hairspray. That's hilarious. What do you say Theo looks like? Theo looks like uh, the live version of uh, Stuart, Stuart Little. Little. <laughs> that mouse, bro, that circus John mouse. John Travolta in Hairspray is hilarious. It's going to be a circus mouse. Um, chain restaurants. I don't really like it myself, but I have to go if I'm on the road. Let me tell you something. The go-to will blow your goddamn mind. TG. I fry days. Dude, their rack of ribs comes correct. I've been all over this goddamn beautiful nation trying barbecue. TGI Fridays, dude? 
And the sampler platter, you're having yourself a good old night. You're going to shit your pants in the hotel, but it's fun while you're doing it, bro. You're not going to come correct. Well, you're going to come freaking, you're going to be a D-plus student if you come in correct with chilies and their magical whatever that's. Nah, thing. no, no, chilies no. out. TGI Fridays. Baby, I want my baby, my baby, my chilies. Remember that? Dude, I auditioned for that commercial, and it got down to me and like two other dudes. No And way. I didn't get it. Yeah. Damn, barbecue sauce. Such a big one. They're like, can you sing it? Like, uh, and I couldn't tell the difference between singing and saying something. I couldn't figure it out at the moment. <laughs> and I was like, Chili's baby back ribs. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't give you that, bro. That wow. Yeah, no shit, you didn't get it, bro. <laughs> My brain, bro. My brain hit a U-turn or something where it got cold to sacking, bro. I was cold to sacking. In that audition, up top. bro, you were in that U-turn. And I'm like, that's great. And just sing it for us. We need you to sing it. And you just couldn't couldn't do it. <laughs> Chili's baby back. Ribs, uh, ribs. <laughs> Sounds like your Bruce Buffer announcing a fucking so rack of ribs. <laughs> Let's get ready to ribs. <laughs> Chili's baby <laughs> back ribs in the red corner. <laughs> oh, man. In my own corner back at my house, that's where I ended up. This is what happened here, bro. This man is asking about this. I think I'm going to go with... um. <laughs> No. Chain restaurants in general. Well, TGI Fridays put all that. They put the, once they went Jack Daniels on everything. I was out. No, bro. that's out, bro. You're you're confusing them with Chili's, bro. I know you didn't get the commercial, but get, don't get it twisted. Also, another chain, Hooters. Have some crispy wings. Stare at tits. Boom. Nice little parlay of a day. Also, Outback Steakhouse. My grandma passed away. We used to go there. I get a nice little eight ounce sirloin, and she would steal the steak knives. Really? Yeah, every time. What? I was young, man. Oh, that's beautiful, man. I love picturing that older woman putting knives in her purse. She'd always put it, and they go, "Can we get some more knives?" And they never figure it out. Like, uh, where the fuck do you think all these knives? It's just me, and my grandma. You've dropped seven knives off. Melt them down, make a sword at home. Yeah, we had a ton of them. Uh, if I got to go to a chain restaurant, bro, I'll go to McDaniel's, bro, in the middle of the night, dog. Get That's me two of them food, cheeseburgers, bro. That's bro. fast food. Okay, I'm talking okay. about sitting down, having a meal, talking to your friends. I'll go to freaking Chili's, bro. I don't mind going to Applebee's, but I don't really like Oh, to. Applebee's out. Are they out of business? No, they're still in. The neighborhood right friendly, whatever the fuck it's called? Yeah. Do you remember Bennigan's? Ooh, Bennigan's. Yeah. Yeah, they're out. Bennigan's is out. Yeah, eventually they all fold, man. I'll go to a Perkin. I'll go to a uh, Chili. I'll Dude, go I'll to Chili's. What? Marie Callender's, see ya. Because all they made was fucking pies all the goddamn mm, pies time. Are good, pies are a boy. seasonal thing, bro. Mm, not for some people. Ooh, Thanksgiving. Oh. You with that apple or you with that pumpkin? Pumpkin. Yeah, hell yeah. You put a little whipped cream on top? Yeah. I feel like as I get a little bit older, I get that pumpkin. Here's something now. I'm apples old. for children. Now I'm older. Yeah, apples for fucking bitches. Now that I'm older, though, dude, you know what I do? Mm. I get a nice pecan pie, a nice robust coffee. Dude, pecan pie and coffee, mm. that's that old man gang shit, dude. I'm robe, nuts hanging out the front, pecan pie. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. What kind of pie you guys like? I don't eat pie. You don't eat pie? I don't like sweets like this. This sounds like Brendan on a bad day. What kind of pie are you guys like? Uh, <laughs> you like pie? Yeah. No way, yeah. I like sweet potato. Ooh, I like that. They I like watching them. a woman eat a potato, bro. That shit fucking gets me. <laughs> yeah. That shit you, gets me. You talking like a baked potato or just that, that, that kind of... That's, no, I'm that, talking that any That pointy type. sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> Those sweet potatoes are vulgar. Bro, bro, you know what I'm saying, bro? I just realized my penis looks just like a sweet potato, dude. Dude, <laughs> mine too. My shit looks like a yam. Yeah. <laughs> I got that yam dick, yeah, bro. I got that yam. Let me see yeah, some bro. long yams. Can you Google long yams, Derek? Yeah, and make sure they're the purple ones. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, like, yeah, dude, we're not talking purple, about the yellow dude. ones, man. Yeah, I don't know what you got down there, bro. Long yams in skin. Put can you put in I skin? Need the, yeah, there that's, we that, go. that's that hitter right there, bro. No, 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 no. Not with the dots okay. all over it. The purple. No, 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 no. The purple ones, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. my shit right there, bro. Yeah, my shit looks like a newborn uh, gerbil laying down. That's yeah, what my, it looks my like, shit bro. looks like a shaved rat <laughs> chilling with his friends on the fucking in the sun, bro. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> Damn, bro. I never realized that. Thank you so much, Kat. I never realized that my whole life. I've always been looking at my penis and like, what does this remind me of? I'm glad to help. And a it is a yam. sweet potato, bro. And it is a yam, brother. Praise God. Hell yeah. Thank you. 
Um, what else we got, man? Our last one, boys, is uh, Jared Knapp. Big Jared. VL Brendan, what up, guys? This is Jared in Northern California. What's up, Jay? And we're out here golfing today in a beautiful Las Positas golf course. Mm. I got a king it or sting it for you. Apparently in World Getting War II behind up them. with the boys <laughs> as you're golfing. I got these guys out here. His boys are, his boys are toasted. They faded. Oh damn! Oh, a nice little swing on you. Let me know what you think, gang, gang, hole in one. <clears throat> <laughs> mulligan, mulligan, baby, buzz, buzz, yeah. mulligan, mulligan. Uh, I like golfing. You can't really drink, so it might be boring for you. But when you can drink, like I used to do this charity event every year. Only time I play golf, me and my brother, because they'd have alcohol at every hole. We would get. Blitz. It was so much fun. You don't care about the game. You're just hitting. It's fun. Dude, I broke up with a girl one time golfing or drinking all day with a buddy. Broke up with my girlfriend, and she actually left. On the course? Yeah, and whole, she left. Whole, and by the time I got back home, I was just bawling my eyes out that she had left. Oh, wait. She was just like, oh, I'm out. Yeah. She's like, fine, then I'm fucking out. And I was like, oh, fuck. By the time I got back, I was just drunk and dumb, and then I realized, shit, I really wanted her, but... How long ago was that? And this is probably about 11 years ago, but everything's okay. But um, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't sound like it sounds like the one that got away. No, 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 no. Uh, right for the best. Why'd you guys break up? Uh, cause I fucking called her drunk from a fucking golf course and didn't spend any time with her. But Richard. also, she, I probably there's something. Who knows what happened. But what I'm saying is this. If you're out drinking with your friends, yeah, get somebody drunk. Beat somebody with a club. Drive one of those little <laughs> carts into a fucking lake, bro. There's no reason they put the lakes and the carts out there if they don't want a little bit of controversy. Okay? Agreed. Drive that bitch in there. There's water everywhere. Yeah, every golf course, Most bro. it's going to cost you 1100 bro. If you can afford it, <laughs> fucking it. Skirt! It's worth it, bitch, bro. Right off yeah. there. Go looking for a shark, bro. Yeah, get a six-pack. Get, get your own ball. Balls down there, man. There's a million balls at the bottom of those fucking ponds, bro, too. Bro, choke dude. your fucking friend out and hide that bitch in a pond, Hell bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, dude? Go to that next level. There's no way when men are out there with clubs, one of somebody hasn't hit somebody and put them in one of those things. They should go looking at it. It's these in lights. our DNA. Also, bro, mix it up. Play a little Russian roulette. Play when there's lightning outside. Yeah. You you hit a ball in the air, your buddy gets to shoot it down with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're talking golf, boy. <laughs> That's now we're golfing, talking bro. V at golf. So let's have let's take a chance at some real action, bro. Yeah, so dude. You, don't get drunk drink. with your buddies. Tiger Woods, it. Get drunk with your buddies. Take a bunch of pills. Fuck some girls. <laughs> don't even play. I wouldn't fuck some girls because it's just you and these dudes out there. Well, so that's, that's what not Tiger Woods does, one. bro. Yeah, that's true. But he's a champion. If you're just some guy who's just meeting up with his buddy. He's not going to want to hear about all wanting to fuck and everything. If no, nah, there's some of those tireless bunny hoppers roaming around. That. Who do you think's bringing the beer, bro? They're yeah. always dying. He's pulling up. You boys thirsty? Hell yeah, girl. <laughs> and you always got Snickers and Fritos, Bud Light. Yeah. God, it's fun. It is fun being such a glutton just cruising out there. Next thing you know, you've had like 30 beers and yeah, like and nine Yeah, stupid Twixes. little cart. Really not that dangerous. Tips over. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. oh, the best is when it tips over. Hell yeah. Oh, it's fun, man. Hell yeah. Shout out to golf. Yeah. That's it today, boys. I went fast, man. Good Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, man. Thanksgiving, dog. Life goes fast when you grow when you when you're thankful for stuff. Yeah. We gotta stay thankful, man. We do, man. Be nice to each other out there and toast someone on me and Theo, man. Toast somebody. Tell your buddy how much he means to you. Yeah, toast somebody. See what it leads to. Yeah, send us a couple toast videos, too. Yeah, toast your buddies and tell us why you did it. Yeah, toast somebody you care about. Toast somebody. Toast your girl. Toast your mom. Toast your cat. Toast mm -hmm. your dog. Toast anybody. Toast somebody that you don't even know. Hell yeah. Toast a stranger and film it for us. Yeah, man. <laughs> Toast a peeping Tom next time he's at your window. <laughs> Don't shut that dude down. Pour a beer. Yes, yeah, just... maybe he's just looking somebody to talk to. He's just going creepy ways about it. Toast your stripper, dude. Mm -hmm. Think she just wants money from you? Nah, say thanks. Yeah, thanks say for hey, twerking look. those cheeks in my face. Yeah, thanks. No one for... really says thanks. Yeah, thanks for being somebody. You Toast know? your pre uh, pastor, dude. Yeah. Give him a shot of vodka. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you guys for watching King and the Sting and for checking it out. Yes, uh, happy Thanksgiving. I am in Borgata, New Jersey, December 14th, one night only. Bubba baby. Bubba baby. And I might be December 6th at the um at the uh, La Jolla Comedy Store on a Thursday night. Might do a pop-up down there. Oh, I'm there, dog. You are? I'm just, I'm, well, I'm there December, I think. 19th, 2021. La Jolla Comedy mm. Store, dude. Yeah. Trying to get froggy. Drive down to San Diego, bro. Man, I might. I might. San Diego is one of my favorite spots. Yeah, man. It's where you do your special at. Yeah, I love it down there, man. I, Thanksgiving, uh, man. We need a bunch of pie. I didn't mean to interrupt you. What no, you you're say? good. Go Otherwise, ahead, yeah. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I'll be... Uh, 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 in Lafayette, Louisiana, December 26th. And I'll be December 10th in uh, at Los Angeles at the Wiltern. Dude, I'm in your hometown next year. New Orleans? New Orleans. Yeah. No way. We're really? Some theater theater down there. Yeah. Wow. I know. Huh. That's crazy, man. I, I haven't been there performing in a long time. I got to go. I know. Um, I think you're in Kansas City, too, December 6th and 7th. First week of December? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. I'm all over, man. <clears throat> Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> turkey stuffing, pumpkin pie, be nice to each other. Buzz, that turkey buzz, got me tired. Stuff, man. stuff, baby. Gang, gang. Appreciate, you man. guys be good. Appreciate Thankful you too, you man. Guys. Thankful for you. Thankful for you, boys. <laughs> <laughs>